Hi there, my name is Alan Byrne. I'm VP of Product here at Quadratech. I'm here with Mr. Tony Sterling, who is the, what is your title at the moment? My name is Tony Sterling. I'm the Senior Vice President of Customer Success for Quadratech. So, um, Tony, there's a lot of talk at the moment about GDPR, especially here in Europe. And um, one of the things we hear a lot about is about PST files and, mm -hmm. uh, and GDPR. Can you tell us a bit about what a PST file is? A PST file gets created when a user, for whatever reason, wants to archive mail from their primary mailbox into uh, another file. It's basically a local copy of those emails that lives on their desktop. They may chuck it on a network share, they may put it on a thumb drive. But what happens is, now that that mail is no longer an exchange, a company can't easily find it. It's only in this file on that person's device. So as in relation to GDPR and be able to know what emails you have in an organization, be able to find and produce them and take care of it, it's very, very difficult. So you're saying that it's just email from people's mailboxes. So what, it could be anything that's in there, is that right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, they could, they could be emails, they could be uh, other files that they've dragged in and manually loaded. It could be executables, as we were discussing earlier. You know, it's just, the thing about a PST is only the person that created the PST really knows what's in it. And sometimes they don't even know. So, um, the PST file gets created on the person's computer. Um, they get put it somewhere in their network or whatever. Yes. How can we find all these PST files? So here at Quadratech, we have a great product called PST Flight Deck. It was designed for large enterprises. So what PST Flight Deck is able to do, it is able to scan the user's local workstation, laptop, desktop, whatever, and then also scan all the file servers. So any place that user has access to, we can scan and find PST files, report that back to a central location, so that an intelligent decision can be made on what to do with them. So um, it's a, an export of, of people's email, basically, which could be any kind of things. What kind of, of emails would we be concerned about in, in sort of the concept of GDPR? So a user could have received an email that has somebody's social security number, um, credit card numbers, some other type of personal identifying information, PII, um, that they really shouldn't have or maybe is now under some kind of regulation. So if that email is no longer in a central system like Exchange or Office 365 and is only in this user's local file, anything can happen to it. You can't report on it. Um, recently, well recently, a few years ago, there was a major um, media company that had a security breach and a lot of embarrassing emails were released their exchange didn't get hacked. What got hacked was a file system. On those file systems were PSTs of executives that they had saved emails and with some embarrassing communications. You don't want to be that company. And I guess you could also not, not, not even get hacked. You could just lose your laptop yes. in a pub or something. Someone could mm -hmm. pick it up and your PST files would be on there, wouldn't they? Absolutely. You lose your laptop. You lose a thumb drive. Um, there's many ways for that you know, non-malicious just through ignorance or um, irresponsibility that a user could lose that information and open you up to a wide range of lawsuits. So um, sounds like you know, it's really bad if these PST files get out of your company into the wild. Should we also be worried about internal threats from a PST inside the company as well? Absolutely. With GDPR, you know, many companies are multinational, you know, and um, if I I'm a UK citizen and I load a PST up on a file share that somebody from a different region, different country has access to, they may open it and not know they're doing anything wrong because they're not being malicious. It's just, again, it's just an innocent mistake that can cost you some violations and violations equal money. <laughs> we deal with your PSTs so you don't have to. <laughs> um, all right, all right, all right. <laughs>